Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for episode of Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Bees the Secret Kingdom. This is a new game from Venn Rider Games and Awaken Realms Light. It is a 2-6 to six player game that takes roughly 15-30 to 30 minutes to play, and is a competitive game, so each player is working against the other players to get the most points and be the overall winner at the end of the game. Please also make sure you have your Klingon text turned on, and if you do, you should have a test text at the bottom of your screen. This way I can update you with any rules, corrections, or anything else that I need to bring into attention after the video is released. As always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button, subscribing to my channel, as it really does make a big difference. It helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. If you will stay updated on all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. So let's head to the table, and I'll teach you guys how to play. There are three different decks of cards included with bees. The first deck we have here are the gather cards, and each one of these cards is going to have two pieces of information on it. On the top right hand side is going to list the color and number of pollen gems that the active player will receive, and in the bottom corner of the card will list the color and number of gems or choice of gems that the other players will receive. So for example with this card here, our player would receive one blue and one purple gem, and the other players will get to choose to either take one blue or one purple gem. The one exception to this is the four pollen card, which is going to have one of each of the colors for the active player and one of each of the colors for the passive player, so they'll all receive the same number of gems. The second deck of cards are the honey cards. Each of these cards is going to have a number of victory points in the top left corner. At the bottom of the card, each card is going to list the color and quantity of pollen gems the player has to discard in order to purchase that card. And then some of the cards are also going to have an ability that will be activated once after the player has paid the cost on that card. Now, some of the cards are also going to have gray pollens, which means that you have to discard one color of your choice for each gray pollen on that card. So with our card here, we have to discard two yellow, two blue, and one of any color of our choice of the pollen gems back to the, the supply in order to purchase this card. Now once a card is purchased then you can activate the ability at the bottom of the card. And the final set of cards are the beehive cards and these are going to be an optional choice the players can add to the game to give it a little bit more variety. These cards will be broken down into two types. We have extra points which will give the players parameters to gain extra victory points at the end of the game. And there will also be instant win cards with a condition that if a player meets, they will end the game immediately and that player will be the winner of the game. To set the game up, go ahead and grab the gather deck, shuffle it up, and place it out in the middle of the table. Next, go ahead and grab the honey cards, shuffle that deck up, and then you're going to create a deck of cards, five cards per player, plus an additional five. So I'm going to go ahead and set up for a four-player game. So I'm going to deal out 20 cards, plus five additional cards to make a deck of 25 cards. Any remaining cards that you have can be returned to the boxes, you won't use them for the game. And then this deck of cards can be placed out in the middle of the table as well, and then you'll reveal the top four cards. Also place out all the pollen gems in the middle of the table, and for this video I'm going to be using a Crystal Fortress pod set. If you'd like to know more information, there'll be a link in the description below for their website. If you'd like to play in advanced mode, also go ahead and shuffle up the beehive cards and place out three on the table. The other two cards can be returned to the box as you won't use them for this game. And then finally we have to decide a starting player. So we'll go ahead and have our starting player be the player on this side here. And starting with that player and proceeding clockwise around the table, the starting player will take one pollen gem of his choice. So he'll take a blue. And then each other player that's playing will get two gems. So our player here will take a yellow and a red. The next player is going to take two yellow. And then our final player over here will take a blue and a purple gem. From there, we're ready to begin the game. Bees the Sacred Kingdom is played over an undefined number of rounds. During each round, each player will get to take a turn, and this is going to continue with players taking turns until the last honey card is drawn from the honey deck. After this happens, each other player will get to take one more turn, and the player whose turn triggered the end game does not get to take another turn. In this way, all players will have an equal number of turns. After that, the players will total up their victory points, and the player that has the most points will be the winner of the game. Starting with the first player and proceeding around the board in a clockwise manner, each player is going to get to take a turn. And during each player's turn, they will get to perform one action from a selection of two different actions. The player can either choose to gather pollen or produce honey. And I'm going to take you through both of these options. 
The first option a player has is to gather pollen. If they choose to do this option, they're going to draw the top two cards of the gather deck and look at them. From there, that player is going to choose one of those cards to discard and the other card to take the action on it. So let's say, for example, our player chooses to discard this card and he's going to do the action on this one. So he will receive one yellow and one red pollen gem from the supply. And then each other player is going to get to choose to either gather a yellow or a red pollen. So our player over here is going to go ahead and take another yellow. The player here will take a blue. And our player over here will take a yellow. Then this card will also be discarded to the discard pile. The second option our player has is to produce honey. A player can choose this option only if they have the required pollen in their supply, meeting the requirements of one of the cards that they wish to purchase. So let's say, for example, that our first player here happened to have two additional yellow pollens, which would meet the requirements for this card here. So if he wished to purchase it, he would return those to the supply and then gather that card. Finally, at the bottom of the card, if it has an action or a ability, he's going to resolve that at this point. So this one says to take one pollen gem of any color, and then each other player is going to take a pollen gem of that color. So let's say that he chooses a purple, then each other player would also receive a purple gem to add to their supply. Now the only restriction to this is that each player can only have three pollen gems of each color. So if a player has three pollen gems, they cannot receive any more gems of that color. And then finally you'll reveal a new card from the deck, replacing the card that was purchased. Now that I've covered the different options during a player turn, let's go ahead and put this all together and I'll show you a couple of sample turns. So again, starting with our first player, he's going to go ahead and take an action. So he doesn't have enough gems to purchase honey, so he's going to go ahead and do a gather pollen. So again, he has his options to choose from, so he's going to go ahead and do that first one. So he's going to gain a yellow and a red. And then each other player will get to choose one of the different options at the bottom as it's listed. So our player here will take a yellow. Our player over here is going to take a yellow. And then our player on the ends will take a red and then that card will be discarded to the discard. Moving on to our next player over here. Again, this player doesn't have enough to purchase a card yet, so he's going to have to gather pollens. So again, he'll draw two cards and choose one of them. In this situation, our player has to choose one of the cards, so he has to, every player is going to receive all four colored gems, unless a player has three of any color, which none of the players do. Moving on to our next player here. Now our player does have enough gems in order to purchase something. So he's going to go ahead and discard a blue and two yellows to purchase that card on the end. Placing it over in his area. And then he's going to choose a color gem and all of the other players are going to receive that color. So he's going to go ahead and take yellow. Our player over here will then also gain a yellow. And this player, but this player will not as he already has three yellows. Then we'll also repopulate and add a new card to the end of that. And that is the end of this player's turn. So we'll move over to our final player to take their turn. So that player can also purchase a gem, so he's gonna or a card. So he's gonna go ahead and discard two purples and two reds to purchase this card here. And it says each other player takes one pollen gem of any color. So he'll replenish, and starting with our player over here, he's gonna go ahead and take another purple. This player is going to take a red. And our player here will take another purple, uh, blue. From there, it's going to move back over to our first player. And again, this is going to continue going around until the last card is drawn from the honey deck. When that happens, the player that triggered it, that will be his final turn. And then each other player will get to take one final turn. And then we move into the scoring step. The one other thing I want to point out is if you're playing an advanced game with the Beehive cards, some of these cards will have an instant win condition, so you want to keep that in mind as you play in the advanced games as certain players will go after that and potentially win the game before it is over if they are able to meet the conditions of an instant win. Once the final round has ended, the players will move into a scoring step where they're going to total up all of their victory points, and the player that has the most will be the winner. So let's take a look at an example of this. Our player here is going to count up each of his honey cards with the number of victory points. So we have one, two, three, six, eight, and 11 points. 
Then each player is also going to receive one victory point for three pollens that they have in their supply. So our player will get another point there for 12. And then if you're playing an advanced game, then you'll check those cards to see if you meet any of those conditions as well. So for this one here, we get one additional victory point for each card that doesn't have an action on the bottom of it. So if we go back through, we have two of them. So we're going to pick up two more points. So that'll be 14. And then this one over here, we get three victory points for every five pollen symbols in the same color on their honey cards. So if we go back through, we don't get any for grays, so we don't get to count those, so we'll cover those up. And then if we look through the rest of these, we have four red, so not quite enough. We have six purple, so we'll get three points for that, so that'll bump us up to 17 points. And then we don't have enough of any of the other colors, so we won't get any additional there. So our player has ended with 17 points, and each player will compare their points. And if there is a tie, then the player with the most honey cards will win. And if there's still a tie, the player with the most pollen symbols on their purchased honey cards will be the winner. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave feedback on them. I do really appreciate it and I take into account everything you say to make the best possible videos. If you found this video helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel as it really does make a big difference, helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.